This is the best performance tip I can give you and it's super simple. Always remember you don't have to update every single time. Now let me explain what that means. So for example in the game you've got frames, you're constantly updating, you're constantly running some logic on every single update. Especially if you're a beginner, chances are that's what you're going to do, put literally every single logic on every single update. However, let's say you're making uh, some kind of action game, so you've got the player right here, and then you've got some kind of enemy, and the enemy is running some kind of fine target logic, so basically it does some kind of sphere cast around the enemy, tries to identify the player, and if it does identify the player, sets the player as a target, and then runs whatever state machine it has for actually attacking the player. And one super easy way to boost performance is exactly what I said, you don't have to update everything all the time. So in this case, the obvious approach would be to find the target on every single update, but you don't need that. You don't need the enemy to be able to find targets 60 times every single second. If you do it just two to five times per second, that is going to be more than fast enough to actually find the player and make the game seem very playable. So instead of something like this, where you find a target on literally every single update, instead you can make a simple flow timer, then count it down by time dot on time, and once it's under zero, you just reset the timer to some sort of timer max, and then you can't find target. So this code over here, this one's running every 0.2 seconds, meaning it's going to find a target five times per second, which like I said, is going to be more than fast enough for your game to seem very responsive. And again, this tip is applicable not just to this, but literally anything. So any kind of logic you have in your game, always remember you don't have to update on every single update. Chances are there's lots of logic that you can do just twice or five times per second and it will work fine. If you do that, if you apply that to a lot of logic, you will get a massive performance boost.